admired. And I have to say, it's very nice to see that both of you are here tonight. <laughs> his great success is a tribute to the art of his television interviewing and to the art of those men who manufacture suits that actually make fat people look thin. <laughs> He has brought a kind of simple-minded joy into the lives of many with his light banter, easy wit, and a slightly irritating little chortling sound. <laughs> he has, however, in the next segment of this televisual extravaganza, made a fatal mistake. He has, has chosen to hold interlocutory interlude with a person so low that in comparison, an exceptionally filthy pig is a model of personal hygiene. His head, being without a brain, is as empty as a hermit's address book. However, for those of you who enjoy laughing at the afflicted, here is your host, Mr. Wogan, uh, to introduce his next guest. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, you're very welcome, sir. Um, if I might just make a suggestion, I will ring this bell if I feel that the interview ought to terminate, or if I feel that the public are, uh, are tired of your disputatory peregrinations. <laughs> your chat. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now my great pleasure to introduce to you a young man whose popularity seems to increase with every passing century. The man they simply call Baldrick. <laughs> Perhaps a minute longer. Very well. On your head be it. And of course, on yours, Baldrick. <laughs> so, Baldrick, so what, what's that you're eating? Oh, it's a rat. Uh, I've got it in hospitality. Do you want to buy it? No, no, no. Thank you. Tell me, Baldrick. What have you got in that in that bag? Well, uh, I heard that you was auctioning stuff for children. What's in there? Oh yes. yes. So uh, I thought I'd auction some of the things what I used to play with when I was a little gutter snipe. Oh yes, lovely. So what have you got? Uh, well, this is uh, one of my favourite toys. Yeah. Uh, a bit of mud. <laughs> e excellent. And uh, a piece of mud. Here's another one. This this doll. <laughs> That's, that's just a stick. Well, it's not a stick, it's just a not very expensive doll. <laughs> you, you'll like this one, this is, this is a real favourite. Oh, yeah. I got it in a cow field. <laughs> I, I, I think you call it a frisbee. Anything else? Yeah. Tucked up in here. I'm going to show you my pride and joy. No. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Which is, of course, a turnip. Ah. Now, how much do you expect to auction that for? Oh, I'm hoping that we'll get at least a farthing. <laughs> oh, I've got a message, too. A message what Mr Blackadder asked me to uh, read out to all the ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I am an abject little weevil. <laughs> I apologise for wasting your precious time with my complete turd for a brain drivel. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Baldrick. And thank you, sir. Thank you very, very much indeed. Come on, Baldrick. Shall we go now? Yes, come on. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. I shall move amongst the audience with some of these prizes a little bit later on. <laughs> 